So this is where the Kelly has brought Angel. Bit rustic, isn't it? Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Then that's our move. My oh my, deadbolt trumps technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Grand. Well, that's humiliating. Search over. you well get 
over here. Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. Are you all right? That little dreamboat looked ready to turn you into Fillet. He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Hang on. You're Caitlin Lau. You're that police inspector. We saw your logs. Going after Mary Kelly on your own like that. Brave. I mean, but very stupid. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Not you. A friend. He disappeared from the EPC, and the trail led us here. To think this is where all those missing people ended up. It's chilling. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. Understandable. You need to rest. I'll have one of us come collect you. I'll go on and find Angel. And those files of yours, too. Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Well, then, perhaps we should work together. Because Mary Kelly has officially made Dead Sex shit list. All right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And thanks for your help. I'm glad we're joining for There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Retrieval. That's one hell of a euphemism bag. God, I'm gonna be ill. <laughs> The faces are too damaged. The poor bastards. Bagley, run a facial reconstruction. Let's see if we can ID them. Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Yeah, I didn't mean to actually press on the other button. Negative. Shit. How many people have Clan Kelly put through this fucking horror show? We have to put an end to this operation. Mary Kelly's got to go down. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a DedSec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day?
Well done. You got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop chop. Yeah, duh. Dead sec. Caitlin and Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds treated. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Sure, yeah, I get that. You've probably even got a file on us, right? But if teaming up helps us stop Clan Kelly, that's what matters. Exactly. You have an organization, I have information, and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources, and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bagley, get everyone in. We need to look through these files and figure out what the hell to do. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Mary Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking, the Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. 
I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Exactly. Your naivety got the better of you last time. How can we know it won't happen again? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. What is this? We've just hijacked the fee from an Albion prison flight. Seems these poor sods are being renditioned out of the country for extreme insubordination. Why? I know, right? Why not just fire them? All I can tell you is that these people are off to summer school in the Seychelles for re-education. This is Connor 12. George has full control of the plane. Connor 12, stand by. We're getting some weird readings with your onboard data. Understood. Right, here we are. These prisoners were detained for attempting to reveal operations intelligence to external agents. Whistleblowers. Perhaps they even tried to contact DedSec. Luckily, you can reroute the plane. Good thinking, Bags. <laughs> should be landing in a few hours. I've contacted the local authorities who are less than pleased with Albion. Seems they think of human rights as rights and not legal obstacles. These Albion defectors will be welcome. Thank you, sweetie. Security here is state-of-the-art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. The recording device is in her security room. Getting there should be a simple matter of navigating the vents. What the hell? She's using these people as house servants, against their will. Horrible in itself, but a million times worse knowing they end up as unwilling organ donors.
that's it. Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating, so we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC, and the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team, tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. You're fortunate she didn't put one of those microchips in you. I suppose she knew you'd rather die than serve her. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. yourself after everything I've done for you you made me a slave all of us please let me go take this thing out back to your old life back to nothing back to you 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead-end job and sucking off the doll you don't want that love Microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. Anymore. I can't live like this anymore. No. You all right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Oh! <gasps> 
<laughs> Ooh, paying attention, are we? Good, be sure and spread the word. Man, if slavery wasn't bad goes. enough. Get these two and all the others over to the venue. Making them go into a seizure like right, that, that's fucked up. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed. Ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mm, is that initiative I'm smelling, Peter? Initiative can be a dangerous thing. Can be misinterpreted. Same. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. So that's what the microchip is for. Compliance. The second you step out of line, she can slaughter you and sell you for parts. DedSec, we'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, DedSec. <laughs> Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? Bagley, what do we have? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404. But instead of being in it for the lulz, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? It seems I have options. I've marked both on your optic. news first. One of your operatives has been kidnapped. Also, there's no good news. Damn! Quite. Fortunately, I took a look through our ever-expanding enemies list, and I think I've identified the culprit. Finding him should lead us to our missing operative. On it. The kidnapper is in the area, along with some other shady characters. You should be able to get your missing friend's location off his optic. Son of the spider. 
It's called Shakespeare was a fucking hot. Museum quality, I'd say. GPS analysis complete. I've got a bead on our kidnapped operative. Forward me the coordinates. Please don't tell me that's copyrighted music. is here. Mind the hench people on your way in.
was that? Get her out. Looks like you avoided them. Our friend is back in fighting shape and another enemy of DedSec has been thwarted. Nicely done. Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephants in the room. Nigel, Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. So, we're going to take on the head of the barbarous PMC outfit, currently treating London like its own private occupation zone. Remind me again how that's not suicide. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we could find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Red lights, driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight, follow those lines, we're making this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight.